This is a multi-story building with over 77 floors. We stay at floors above 58, so you can uh, see the sea view and you can see worthy ceiling, and that is one of the key factors for us to like choose this apartment. And the rent here is 2.4 lakhs. Hi, I'm Samarth from Winpil. We will be discussing with the people living in the city across different areas at different price points about renting a house along with the cost associated with the same in Mumbai. If you've already been living in Mumbai for a while, then in this video you may come across a lot of information that you already know. Unlike other cities, it's a little difficult to predict a single average rent amount for Mumbai as a whole. So Mumbai is basically divided by local trains, Central Line, Western Line, Harbour Line, Trans Harbour Lines and Metro Line. So most people travel along these lines. So if your job is in Central Line, so it is recommended to take flat in Central Line only because it's easy to commute. You will find that as you travel along Western Line, the rental rates keep increasing and peak around South Bombay. From here, as you move along the central line, the rates decrease again and dip more towards east and outskirts. Hi guys, my name is Ayesh Shukla, I'm the founder of Finet Media, a creator and a podcaster. I live in BKC in Mumbai. Uh, the rent is around 1.2 lakhs per month and the deposit of 3x of that. BKC is like right in the middle of Bombay, Lower Peril is 30 minutes and Dehri is 40 minutes. Um, everything is here, so it's a pretty good location. It took me roughly one and a half months to find a house. I did like two, three trips of Bombay. I have seen approximately 25 houses in like four localities as far as I remember. It took time, but that is it's supposed to be. I don't think people should settle in a hurry. Renting obviously is not a permanent decision, but still it is very important to get it right. Once you settle into a space and a locality, it is very difficult to uproot your life and move somewhere else. Not only it is exhausting mentally and physically, but it will also result in you incurring additional expenses like brokerage or expenses related to lock-in when you move from one place to another. How you decide on the location of your department will depend on two main things. The first is obviously the distance from your office. I think a debate for all the families that you know whether to stay with school and uh, whether to stay with uh, the office. I, my advice to everybody is stay near the office because your children can stay near the office when they will grow up. <laughs> the second thing that will influence your decision is the rental amount. Rent in Mumbai can fluctuate drastically depending on where you live. For example, Andheri West is only around 6 kilometers away from Andheri East. But the difference in average rent is around 25 to 30,000 per month. Interestingly, Mumbai also has the concept of 1.5 and 2.5 BHKs. 1.5 BHK is basically a kind of a two bedroom house but with a single bathroom made out of a bigger one BHK. It was uh, fitting well as in we wanted a dedicated workspace and a space for when like relatives show up or friends come to it, so it a small bedroom hai. Check the rental rates at your office location and if it exceeds your budget, try and find a location which is within a travel time of around one hour from your office. We have linked the renting guide in the comment which might help you with this. Remember that your rental amount should not be more than 30% of your household income. So I essentially went to these two websites, 99 Acres and Magic Bricks and obviously half the ratings are clickbaitish there, right? Like because they would be putting very low uh, cost and this thing just to get your phone number and they will show this thing. In one day I met six brokers in this condo on the same day. I had just given them slots 10, 30, 11, 12. Whether you go about your house hunting online or offline, at some point of time, you will definitely end up interacting with a broker. It is very common trend in Mumbai that the whole deal is executed by the brokers with minimal involvement by the landlords. Bachelor wala ghar ek hota hai aur ek family wala ghar hota hai. Family wala ghar is, are these well maintained, nice places. And bachelor wala ghar hai ki koi bhi sadial jaga jisme koi bhi furniture nahi hai. Aur maine shaadi iske liye kya ki main acha ghar dikhao. Mere ko bachelor wala ghar mat dikhao. He called me and he said, Madam, ek aur ghar hai Bangalore. Agar main dekh lo, maine bola abhi nahi dekhna hai. Ho gaya mera. Matlab I was very tired of looking for houses. And then he said, no, no, madam, this is good, let's see it again. And next day I came here and I was like, I was in the hall and I was like, this is it. So for, for the first year, the rent was 26k 
and uh, for the second year it's going to be 27k there is this one scam that had happened with a friend so he's also stupid actually as in whatsapp pe chal raha tha chat aur kisi ne usko bola ki ghar dikhane ka token amount lunga main and uh, if you don't take the house don't finalize the house i'll return it and then that guy never showed up this guy went there and the 10000 de diya abhi kya kare never fall into such scams Usually the brokerage is about one month's rental, but given how expensive the rentals in Bombay can get, you can negotiate with the broker and bring down the brokerage to about sixty to eighty percent of the monthly rental. But this is something you should negotiate with the broker upfront before going into the transaction. Also remember that often brokers expect payment of brokerage every time the agreement is renewed, and that's something you should discuss with the broker upfront in Mumbai, regardless of the tenure of the. agreement it is mandatory for your rental agreement to be registered you can visit this governmental portal linked in the renting guide to get your rental agreement registered or the rent agreement is i think it's a 3 year uh, lease but 6 month lock in the lock in was actually higher so i had to negotiate that and put it down to 6 months so i feel people in general in bombay don't want to do the same thing again and again so that's why i think they do the 3 year thing the agreement should also specify the yearly rent hike should clearly list out all the furnishings and the furniture in the house and should clearly mention who will carry out what kind of repairs but before you sign the rental agreement make sure that your apartment checks all the boxes obviously everyone wants to live in a society with lot of amenities there is a cricket ground which is i think a 30 yard cricket ground two tennis courts table tennis squash badminton there some ball rooms movie theater which we don't use that much this is not the reality for most buildings in mumbai there is already so much of space crunch in the city and any additional facility will only add to this problem and also come at a hefty premium but if you have plans of renting a property for long term in a locality you can try to get a membership of a nearby club which offers other amenities i would probably be in two minds if there was no terrace here but since i have a terrace and uh, terrace is a ultra uber luxury in bombay so considering that yes i think i have got a good deal one parking is something that usually comes with the house so uh, in general parking in bombay is a concern people pay from 4 to 10 12 lakhs for buying a parking in bombay but wait what about maintenance charges there is maintenance but i don't need, don't pay so owners pay for it via the amount that i pay often people see empty apartments and think they have ample space but once the furniture moves in the picture changes drastically especially in cities like mumbai where the apartments are already small now this is a fully unfurnished house so i'm buying a lot of furniture and i'm renting from furlenko if you don't own furniture already then websites like rento mojo furlenko are great alternatives which will cost you monthly rent and a one time security deposit also for most part of the year mumbai is hot and humid and ac will probably be a must have for your home and that ac will increase your electricity bill every month by a bit another thing to consider is excessive humidity can end up damaging your electrical equipment especially if you are the lucky few having a sea facing apartment but mumbai during monsoons is a different challenge altogether a lot of buildings in mumbai are old and tend to have seepage problem especially if you live on the top floor some areas may even have slight water logging issues these are the things you can avoid if you speak to the other tenants in the building before signing the agreement or you can get a home inspection done i have work, been working in asian prints for 3 years now so so i had done the inspection myself i had gotten a technical person also from my company involved to check and to assess where is rework needs to be done because water seepage in bombay is a regular issue and it comes up very very frequently if the work is not done properly apart from all of this the first month expense will also include getting a wifi connection a gas connection paying the electricity bill getting domestic help and cook etc so basically your monthly rent into up to 3x is your deposit 1x is your uh, brokerage 5x is gone consider a 6x of your rent to go on the first month itself matlab jhadu अगर मारना है तो उसका एक हजार पूछा मारना है तो उसका एक और हजार ऐसा ऐसा वर्क करता है बट आर हेल्प काइंड ऑफ डज एवरीथिंग एज इन शी कुक्स एंड क्लीन एंड डज एवरीथिंग फॉर टू पीपल ऑल ऑफ दैट कम्स टू फाइव थाउजेंड 
I think every task is like four thousand to five thousand in this area. Another expense that will come up is your commute. There are some trains that start from Goregao, and there are some other trains that start from Borivali. Some other trains that start from Virar. So, as I said, north me. Since, uh, मतलब Goregao से train start होता है, तो बहुत लोग choose करते हैं मतलब रहना, क्योंकि फिर जगह मिल जाता है बैठने के लिए. Please bear in mind. that across all modes of transport heavy traffic tends to move from north to south in the morning and south to north in the evening also if you commute from east to west it will be a lot more difficult than commuting from north to south so if your office is on the eastern or western part of the city it is better to live on the same side moving to a new city and finding the right place to live can be a very tough thing to do but we hope that this video helps you a little in making the right decisions of finding your dream home in the city of dreams so uh, currently i am staying in ghatkopar west uh, it's uh, amrutnagar so 1.5 bhk actually so right now we are paying 28000 okay so the house i live in is a 2 bhk house it is in washi so rent we are paying right now is 23000 rupees per month and deposit we managed to get for about 2 months of rent 